It was on one Sunday morning, all in the month of spring. The little feather songbirds in chorus they did sing. The primrose and the daisies bespangled every lawn. And twas in an arbor I espied my fair true bond. I stood a while amazed, quite struck with surprise. On her with rapture gaze, while from her bright eyes she shot such killing glances, away my heart was drawn. She ravished all my senses, my fair cousin Bob. I smilingly addressed her hail matchless fair maid. With grief you have oppressed me, and I am much afraid. Except you cure my anguish, which now is in its dawn. You caused my sad overthrow, my fair cousin bond. Then it's with a gentle smile she replied unto me. I cannot tyrannize, dear Willie, over thee. My father, he is wealthy, and gives severe commands. But if you but just gain his favor, I'll be your cool son. In rapture I embraced her, we swore eternal love, that naught should separate us except the powers above. I hired with her father, and left my home and land that with rapture I might gaze on my fair cool and bond. One evening as her father and I walked out alone, I asked him for his daughter, saying, Sir, it is well known. I have a well-stocked farm, five hundred pounds in hand, that I'll share with your daughter, my fair cool and bond. Her father, being angry, most scornfully did frown. Says he, here is your wages, now, sir, depart the town. Increasing still his anger, he bade me quick be gone, for none but a rich squire can wed my cool bond. I went unto his daughter and told her my sad tale. Oppressed with grief and anguish, we both did weep and wail. Says she, my dearest Willie, the thought I can't withstand, that in sorrow you should leave me here, your dear cool man. Then a horse I did get ready, all in the silent night. Having no other remedy, we quickly took our flight. And then by hill and valley, we quickly took our way. O'er lofty rugged mountains, we traveled night and day. Our steed, not used to saddle, grew weary of the pace. But still we urged him onward, for none could take his place. The horse he chanced to stumble, and threw us both along. Which confused and sorely bruised me and my dear cousin Bob. Again we quickly mounted and swiftly rode away. Through shady groves and valleys we traveled night and day. But her father quick pursued us with his well-chosen band. And, and were taken with my dear cousin Bob. They hurried me to prison, my hands and feet they bound. And like some cruel murderer, they chained me to the ground. But this hard, cruel treatment, most cheerfully I'll stand. Ten thousand death, thousand death, her cool, dear, cool, dear, cool, mom. My cool, my cool was taken right back to Sligo town into her father's castle to face his angry frown. Then locked in cloak, in cloak, my love was forced to be. He lay in Sligo prison, a dungeon dark and cold. 
No words of love to cheer him, he had a heart of gold. If in the court of justice his Kulumban appear, and she would be his witness, young Riley had no fear. The Riley goes and the souls and the say, Oh, get up, Willie Riley, you must appear this day. For at the bar of justice, young Riley, you must stand. For nothing but the stealing of your dear cool man. <laughs>